Yo, 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 it's Vision for Productions in the building. Sharita to be exact. We back again. RKM Legend is in the building. Right now we in Houston. Is, man. Shit, you know what time it is. What's up, man? Talk to me. RKM Legend. What's up? <laughs> Who is RKM Legend? RKM Legend is a, a artist, actor, musician, writer, director, I do it all. Okay. So, you know what I mean? I do it all. Multi multi title, you know, you everywhere. Okay, I can dig it. Gotta keep the face seen everywhere. Got to. Gotta, gotta keep it seen. That's definitely the goal, you know, just to keep going out there and keep, you know, being their faces, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's definitely the goal. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You already told me you was going to Cali tomorrow. We, I Cali, mean, you're yeah. here now, you in Cali tomorrow, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Just flight after flight, you know, but well, I'm going to Cali. I got a video shoot out there and also got an interview. Okay. So we, Talk to me about your video shoot. Video shoot is basically um, I'm dropping a project on October thirty first. Okay. Uh, called Sub Zero, and so it's going to mm -hmm. be we do we shooting for one of those songs on that project. So we're just getting everything ready, you know, keeping that keeping our foot on that neck. Yeah. Sub Zero. So that means you got to be having some active movement in this video, uh, huh? Well, so Give that's a so What's so up? that's the project name, Sub Zero. I was okay. I was in a relationship okay. for about five years, and I'm letting everything out, you know, mm -hmm. good, bad. You see, what I'm saying, just sharing my pain, sharing my anger, sharing my experiences. So what I went through in that relationship, it'll kind of prevent people from going through, you know. And this is gonna be some songs that's I'm gonna come at it. You yeah. know what I mean? So. But it's gonna be real. Okay. You know what I mean, it ain't gonna be no fake shit. Every right. song's gonna be real, true. Mm -hmm. So you know, people may get mad, but it was it. Hey, you know, no reason to beat around the bush when you can walk right through it, and you know what I'm saying. Definitely. You know, you can't beat by no bush. Hey, there, there we go. You know what I'm saying? I can dig it. I can dig it. So we're gonna bounce back. RKM Legend, talk a little bit about um, where you grew up and 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 where you are now. Um, I. I'm originally born in Missouri City, Mo City. Okay. But I was raised in Ailey, Texas, the SWAT. Gotcha. Um, so I was Ailey, Texas. Um, basically, I went to Ailey Payson's, mm -hmm. uh, the same high school as Maxwell Cream mm -hmm. and everything. So um, my childhood was a hard childhood, you know, in that environment. It was, it was where, you know, you got you had to do what you got to do. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And I was always a. Uh, a person that if I want something, I'm gonna get it. I don't care if you say no, you know, I'm gonna still go. Facts. You know what I mean? Because I gotta see it myself. You know, mm -hmm. someone can say that that's wrong, right? But you gotta actually experience that, that that's wrong. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I have to go out there and get it. Okay. okay, I can dig it. So take me a little bit through your journey right now um, and where you are in the music. Um, besides what you just told us, you know, about the tape. You know, upcoming tape about to drop. Take us through some of you know um, some of the things you've had to do, you know, to get where you are right now with the music. Um, well, I've been doing music seriously for about two years. Mm -hmm. Two thousand eighteen, I started my team LMT, okay, which stands for Legendary Music Team. Okay, um, basically we we are consist of not just music, but we I act, I direct, I design shoes, mm -hmm. clothes. So we do it all. Okay. And the goal is, you know, we are a black organization mm -hmm. and we want to take over the industry. Not just the music industry, all the industry. Mm -hmm. But of course my love is my first love is music. Right. That's my first love. So um I started this team and we're at the last point of our planet. Like this is all plotting. We plot this mm -hmm. scheme this and it's time for us to take back what was taken from us years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, um, this society is built off of a, a system of races. You know, it's not too much good that comes out of the black community, black organizations. So we want to show that we can make our music and we can be a positive. Um, when I say positive, I don't mean just like music that, oh, you know, um, butter music, buttercup music, mm -hmm. soft music. You mm -hmm. know, we want to talk about our environment, what our you neighborhoods go through, it, yeah. to try to you know be positive, be real. For you sure. know, I mean, 
I could be singing on one song about love, and I could be on another song talking about I'm about to come in your house and blow your, blow your, you know what I mean, blow your head off, mm -hmm. you know what I mean. But that's real. That's mm -hmm. what happens in these neighborhoods that we're from, and that's what the audience needs to see because it just. That's why, I, like, I, I kind of frown at rappers that just talk about one side of it. It's not mm -hmm. just one side, you know. Right. You know, we fall in love, we get mad. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not just all about dancing and partying and all this shit. That's cool. Right. Don't get me wrong. Right. I ain't knocking nobody to do that shit. For sure. But at the end of the day, it's just like let's talk about everything, not, mm -hmm. not just once. You know, part of it. You feel me? So. Right. Yeah. I can dig it. So you mentioned, the, you know, um, helping the black community, involvement in the black community. How are you being that um, that mentor, that that big brother? as of right now in the black community, especially as what we're experiencing with, you know, COVID and everything and the pandemic. Definitely. Um, me, I consider myself a big brother. Um, of course, to the people that's on my team as mm -hmm. well, be an example. For sure. Um, but rappers need to understand whether you want to or not, if you want to believe it or not, you're a role model. Mm -hmm. You got kids looking mm -hmm. up to you, you know, Juice World looked up to future. Mm -hmm. You feel me? You know, and he said it that that was the reason why he started doing drugs because right. of future. Right. You feel me? So you gotta understand that you just can't talk about one side of this shit. You gotta talk about okay, what happens after you get on the drugs? They don't talk exactly. about that shit. So for me, me, me being a role model in my music, I talk about all that. I talk mm -hmm. about you know, this is what happens if you decide to go that way. The the goal is to evolve. Right. Advance. You don't want to be rapping about the same shit you was rapping about five years from now. Facts. If you are, then you ain't you ain't growing. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Then your audience, they not growing. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So they still not teaching them anything. Exactly. Either. You know what I mean? So definitely for my fans, I just I want to let them know the real. You know, I want them to. I, my this is what I try. When every time I write do a song, I'm in the studio. I tell my team the same thing. You in the studio, you want to provoke emotion. Mm -hmm. You want to. You want them to feel something, mm -hmm. whether it's a good feeling or a or bad, bad feeling. Exactly. Because we humans, you know, we live off of emotion. You know, exactly. what I mean? everything we do is based off how we feel. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? And you're an actor, mm -hmm. you know, so you un you understand that. You exactly. know what I mean? Um, you have to do a lot of that as well. Exactly. That involvement. That's that's very dope. Um, I definitely want to ask you, um, how do how do you feel? Um, your music has grown from a year ago to now. I would say a year ago, um, I was, you know, struggling because there was some things that I wanted to say because mm -hmm. I just got out of a bad relationship. Mm -hmm. So I'm friends with her family, um, friends. We got mutual. Right, you know, because once you get out of a relationship, you have a relationship that you built mm -hmm. when you with this person Facts. that has nothing to do with her, but they connected with both of you. Mm -hmm. So doing music, you know, I can't write a song if I haven't went through what I'm saying in the song. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was very hard for me to continue to want to do this shit because if I can't say how I feel in this song, then, then w why should I do it? Mm -hmm. And it just like right now, it's no filter. I'm no filter. Like Sub Zero, that drops on um, October 31st, it's no filter. Free. You know, if I want to say fuck you, bitch, I'm gonna say fuck you, bitch. Yeah, cause that's and I don't care if her mama here or not. Mm -hmm. You know, she should never raise something like that. Mm -hmm. Cause she did. You know what I mean? So it just I don't have no filter. I'm coming in a hundred percent. Just it is what it is. And people get mad or get mad and it is what it is. You know, I'm from Houston. You know where we at. <laughs> I can dig it. Oh. So I want to switch lanes real quick. Um, how do you know your man is cheating? Talk to me. <laughs> um, that was a book that I recently wrote. Um, my bodyguard just got a little girl. Mm -hmm. He was in the studio one day talking about, you know, females. You're talking about females and I thought about myself. I don't have any kids yet, but um, I thought that if I ain't gonna lie, I'm a nigga. You know what I'm saying, 
And I know in my past, I did females dirty. I'm talking about dirty, dirty. So I didn't want my daughter to have to go through what I seen females go through. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So how can I say I love my daughter and don't give her the tools to be successful? Not just financially, but also educationally and also about these niggas. Because exactly. if someone did my daughter like that, it's going to be World War Five. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So um, just about the book, I encourage uh, every female uh, to get it. You may want to hide it from your nigga. Uh, he may not want to. Because I'm telling the truth. You know, like I said, like my music, mm -hmm. I'm 100%. No beat, no beat behind the bush, straight to the point. You know, it's not a long book. You know, it's not a long book. It's, yeah, no, I, sure. I, I get straight to the point, you know. And what females need to understand is that I'm going to just, I can't tell everything, but I'm going to give y'all one tip. Yeah. Um, females fall in love with their ears. Guys fall in love with their eyes. You see what I'm saying? So that's one tip. And basically, as a man, it's all about, it's all about his intentions. You know, if you're a woman, you're trying to see if your man is being honest. When you come up to a person, you already got it in your mind with intention. Oh, I just want to smash this. You already you say it in your head before you even speak to the female. So the thing about it is you got to look at why is they coming up to me? Like, oh, he only talking about sex. Okay, you already know what time it is. Mm -hmm. You know, or if he want to get to know you, like you as a person, then you already know, okay, maybe he just don't want sex. Maybe he want to find out more about me mm -hmm. because he want to build a long relationship with me and that's if that's what you really want then hey go for that but if you just want to just fucking shit like that then hey get you you can get them niggas like that you yeah. know what i'm saying but that's like that's the basic of it for sure but to get all the you know make sure y'all cop the book website arcanlegend.net cop the book yeah. all right man i want to ask you one last question what's your vision take over everything you know, take over the whole industry and do it with black excellence. You know, our goal, LMT, is to inspire, you know, the black community. Um, the elementary kid that's in third grade that's looking at us like, wow, mm -hmm. mommy, he doing it. I can do it too. Mm -hmm. So what happens is when you little, you don't have anybody to look up to. Like, I had to see Little Wayne on stage mm -hmm. rapping. I want to be like him. Now it's in my head. Now this is something that I'm about to start pursuing. Facts. You had to see it. You know, um, me being comfortable with singing, I had to see. Okay, Drake is singing and rapping. It's cool. People like it. Let me try to attempt to do this. Mm -hmm. So again, everything that a person is becoming is because of what they're seeing. Exactly. And you have a lot of great black future stars, mm -hmm. entrepreneurs, and they want to do it. They want to be successful, but they don't see it. And all it takes is seeing one person do it, right. and then everybody else going to do it. So that's definitely the goal, and that's definitely what we're going to do, you know, most definitely. I'm rooting for y'all. I appreciate I'm it. I definitely appreciate it. Hey, you heard it here first. Vision for Productions. Sub-Zero on the way. October 31st, Halloween 2020. Get in tune. Boo! <laughs> we out of here. Peace. Right. Good job. Yeah. Hey.